Hi guys, it's Nikki. So today I'm going to show you how to do a drop a loop. Now this is a great knot to know if you're going to tie your own rigs. I use it all the time to tie my high lows for fluke fishing, for bottom fishing, cod fishing. It's just a fantastic knot to know. You could put a hook on it. You could tie a jig to it. Or you could put a longer leader line with a hook to it. So let me show you how to do this. Before I show you how to do it on the Cast King Mono Leader, I'm going to show you how to make a dropper loop with this string, just so it's easier to see. So when I do my dropper loops, I like to use my fingers. I'll use three fingers. You take your line and you're going to wrap it three times. One, two, three. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the two outer lines and you're going to twist them. So you pull out your two outer lines and twist them four times. One, two, three, four. So when you're twisting them, you want to leave a gap in the middle. So that middle line that you left, you're going to pull that right between that gap. So you're going to pull that middle line just like that. So when you use a mono, this is when you would moist it down and then you just pull to cinch. So now you're left with a drop loop. So let me show you how to do this on the mono leader net line now. So let's get started. The material I use for leader is the Cast King Dora Blend mono leader line material. So when I make my dropper loops, I like to use my fingers. I take three fingers, you take your line, and wrap it around three times. One, two, three. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the two end lines and you're going to twist them together four times. So you take the outer ones, you pull them up, and you twist them. One, two, three, four. While you're twisting, you want to leave a gap in the middle of them. That gap, that line that you have left over on your finger, you're going to pull through that gap. Just like that. So you're left with this. Now before you cinch it down, you want to moisten it. And then you pull. And that's an easy way to make a drop loop. Now if you're making a high-low rig, you can make another one on top of that. Just go up a little bit more. Again, three fingers. Wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Take your two outer lines and twist them. One, two, three, four. You have that gap in the middle. You're going to grab that one that's left on your finger. Pull through. Just like that. And moist. So now you have two dropper loops. Like I said before, these are great. You could put a hook on them. Just bite the line a little bit and stick your hook right through your drop a loop. So now you have a hook on one and the other you could put a jig on. Again, bite down. Put it right through the eye of the jig. Pull it through. Just like that. So now you have a high-low jig and hook type of rig. Now, 
they're really easy to do and like I said you can use them for um, a whole bunch of different types of your own rigs and that's how you do the drop loop